You're Thank not you. giving me what the rope. Would you call the roll, please? Danielle McKenzie. Jason Blair. Here. Melissa Hunt. Here. Louis Williams. Here. Adam Webb. Here. Mark Cam. Here. Glenn Lewis. Here. Would you please uh, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, it's also my pleasure to introduce Phil Clark, who's the newly appointed branch manager for the Moore Public Library. Hey, Chris. Hey. So good evening, everyone. Um, I'm here to present some news. It's, it's sad on my part. Um, effective November 8th, I will be stepping down at the Pioneer Library System. I'll be moving my family back east. Um, we've had some unfortunate family health situations occurring over the last couple of years. We've been trying what we could, but we can't quite get it to work. So uh, we're going to be moving close to Wilmington, Delaware, halfway between my family in Baltimore, my wife's family in Philly, to try and get what we need to make this work. Um, at the same token, work needs to continue in more, and I don't want to see the stuff that we've done come to any kind of halt. So to ensure that that process continues as it should, um, I've been talking to Brooks, been talking to the library system, and we have decided to appoint a new branch manager, and that's who I'm here to introduce tonight. It's Mr. Phil Clark, and um, before I step down, I will also say that um, you guys have my cell phone number. I will still be able to be reached throughout however long you need to talk to me. Um, I'm always happy to talk. So whatever questions you guys have about this process, please don't hesitate to reach out. I will be in touch with Lisa as well and from the library system side. There's some talk of hopefully some things that we can work on down the road. Um, I appreciate all of you. You guys have been awesome for my four years and more. I, every time I've needed anything, anytime I need any help, I knew I could reach out to you guys. You guys would always be there for me. And so I just, from, the, from my heart, I really appreciate all you guys. So I'm gonna turn it over to Phil. Thanks for everything Thank you, you did. Oh, Mayor and Council, like I says, I'm Phil Clark. I've uh, been with the library system 11 years. Um, the last seven years, I was at the manager at the Newcastle Public Library, so about 12 miles away. Much bigger branch. I'm really excited to be here, but very excited to work with city, all of our partners, staff, and to continue to serve, serve the community as well as they have. And I know I have big shoes to fill, but uh, call me for anything. And I started last Friday, so I'm on board. So thank you. Nice thank to meet you. you. Welcome. Thank you. Phil. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Chris, thank you, buddy. Yes, yeah, thank, thank, you. thank you very Chris. much. For the Pleasure job working with you. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Item two is a consent docket. Item A is receive and approve the minutes of the regular city council meeting held October the fourth, two thousand twenty-one. Item B receive the minutes of the regular parks board meeting held September thirteenth, two thousand twenty-one. Item C is accept a perpetual billboard sign easement from Warren. Uh, Uffield and uh, excuse me, Uffielder and Francine Frazier for the purpose of constructing, maintaining, and operating a public animal shelter. Item D is approve an amendment to the contract with Meshack and Associates for the completion of a letter of map revision for Little River Park and drainage channel funded with the CDBG DR funds. Item E is accept public. Uh, water and sewer improvements to serve the Santa Fe Executive Center addition being south of Southwest 19th Street and east of Santa Fe Avenue application by TBF LLC and item F is approve and ratify ca uh, claims and expenditures <coughs> for FY 2021 2022 in the amount of three million one three hundred eighteen thousand seven hundred fourteen dollars fifty nine cents Motion to approve. Thank second. you. Thank you. Thank you both. We have a motion and a second. Would you call for the vote, please? Jason Blair. Yes. Melissa Hunt. Yes. Louis Williams. Yes. Adam Webb. Yes. Mark Ham. Yes. Glenn Lewis. Yes. Item carries. <coughs> item number three is an item that involves me, and I didn't put this on. I ask it to be changed. Uh, it's four. No, that's item four. Never mind. Item three <laughs> is consider approval of amendment number two in the amount of $19,931 with Meshack and Associates for Environmental Compliance Corporation 
of Engineers 404 Permit, Structural Design, Civil Plans, and CAD Model for Additional Bank Stabilization on the East Side of Veterans Park Drainage Channel. Mayor and Council, as we wrap up uh, the construction of the west side of the channel improvements in Veterans Park, um, we had changed the, uh, the, from Gabion baskets to another style basket that the baskets are a little smaller. We were able to have a little smaller rock, use a little smaller rock. And thus, uh, you know, we were able to save quite a bit of money on that. And so we had hoped to be able to just move over and take care of some problems on the uh, erosion problems on the east side of the channel. However, the Corps of Engineers uh, will not let us just jump over there and make that improvement. We need to go ahead and, and uh, do an amendment to our 404 uh, permit with the Corps of Engineers, uh, as well as uh, uh, the, the product that we're using. Uh, the structural engineer has to do the design for the east side, and uh, then Meshek needs to do, run a model of the uh, of the channel to make sure that we don't raise the water elevation. And the cost to do that uh, it, for moving over and doing about 150 feet on the east side is about $19,931. And we would ask that you make that appro uh, approve that authorization to move forward with that. Motion to approve. Thank second. you. Thank you both. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion on this item? If not, would you call for the vote, please? Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Cam? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. Item number four, and this is the item I was talking about, is consider approval of resolution number 2-21, changing the street name of Southwest 25th Street and Telephone Road to Fritz Boulevard to Glenn Lewis Boulevard, and this is from the management, and I, I really think it should be the City Council Boulevard because there's a lot of people that went, or you call it Dieter Boulevard. Her team worked on this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you've been here a lot longer than the rest of us, Mayor. Well, I appreciate it. There's yeah. a lot of people that put a lot of work. Everybody here has worked on this project just about, so I appreciate that. And, well, I appreciate well, you saying that, but I make a motion to approve. Yeah, I think and I think a lot of council people have come and gone, and you've been here for 20 plus yeah. years and have contributed yeah. a lot directly to our city. So well, I appreciate it. And, say, and it's Except, not really about the project; it's more about remembering uh, what you've done for the city. So. I don't I don't do it for fame or money. That's for sure. <laughs> and uh, if I can tell you, this job doesn't. Everybody that's set up here can tell you this job doesn't pay anything. So, and when it when things go wrong over there, we'll know who to blame. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I always I always give them your number. <laughs> okay. So no. I'll second. I, uh, yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, second we don't have Jason's. anything go wrong. That's the good part. <laughs> so. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Would you call for the vote, please? Louis Williams. Yes. Adam Webb. Yes. Mark Ham. Yes. Jason Blair. Yes. Melissa Hunt. Yes. Glenn Lewis. Abstain. Thank you. Motion carries. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. This, that was definitely a team effort over there, though. The whole, you know, when, whenever we do any kind of economic development in the city, it's always a team effort. So if, if you guys didn't vote on things, it'd never get passed. And it's just always, it's, it's a good deal. We have a good cl uh, council because, like I said, in the past when I first started here, they wouldn't, you know, we had trouble getting a 97 cent key passed one time. <laughs> so we really did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I just appreciate you guys. So thank you very much. Item number five is consider approval of a job description for a battalion chief of support in the fire department administration division as approved in the FY 2021-2022 budget and assign it to a pay range of 931 of the fire department pay matrix in accordance with the IAFF contract for fiscal year 2021-22 with the effective date of October 19th, 2021. Mayor and Council, this is a position that was talked about during the uh, budget uh, process, and so the Council approved the funding for the budget. This is just the, uh, the actual formal description of the job. Chief Herbster's here. If there's any specific questions, uh, recommend approval. <clears throat> okay. Make a motion to approve. Second. All right. Thank you both. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? 
If not, would you call for the vote, please? Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Cam? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. Item number five is consider, oh, excuse me. Item number six is reconsider action previously taken by the City Council on September 20th, 2021 for approval of a budgeted purchase of the animal transport body from Schwab Wagon Company by amending the amount of the purchase from $21,695 to $24,050 plus shipping. Mayor and Council, um, this was brought to you on September 20th and an honest mistake was made. We used the, the quote from January 2019 instead of using the one from July this year. So this is to um, correct that mistake. And um, it says 24 plus shipping. And the shipping, they quoted us anywhere from 25,000 to 27. So that is why we put it down. The shipping's 25,000? It's 2,500 to 2,700. <laughs> I, was like, I, was I was like, as much as, I was like, Drew, we'll go pick it up. Yeah, I, was gonna, I apologize. I'll go get it. You go me. get it for us. Yes. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. Thank you both. We have a motion and a second. Right. I was going to say, that's a lot of money for delivery. <laughs> Would you call for the vote, please? Mark Ham. Yes. Jason Blair. Yes. Melissa Hunt. Yes. Louis Williams. Yes. Adam Webb. Yes. Glenn Lewis. <clears throat> yes. Item carries. Item number seven is consider approval of a budgeted supplement to budget funds and related expenses for the general fund, one eighth uh, cent sales tax fund, one half cent sales tax fund, a quarter cent sales tax fund, and a special revenue fund. Uh, Mayor and Council, we, we are asking for your approval on the following seven budget amendments. Uh, first, in May of 2021, Council approved the transfer of $304,943 of the quarter cent sales tax revenue that had been collected during the year for the fire station number two to the general fund. The purpose of the transfer was to reimburse the general fund for expenses that the general fund had incurred for the construction of fire station number two. We are now ready to close out the remaining $121,000 158.83 to the general fund to complete the reimbursement process. Second, Public Works needs a $342,000 excavator to assist with water projects and drainage channel maintenance. $275,000 is available from the eighth cent sales tax in the contingency budget, but we need to budget an additional $67,000 of carryover from fiscal year 21. Third, we would like to budget $4,000 from the police federal seizure account to purchase bulletproof vests for new officers. Fourth, we would like to budget an additional $34,178 in available transportation impact fees to fund final expenses related to Southwest 25th Street. Fifth, we would like to budget $65,000 in additional funds received this year from state seizures for repairs, upgrades, and equipment needs of the police department. Sixth, we would like to budget $20,000 in available 911 fees for upgrading the dispatch quality control services with priority dispatch as approved by council on September 20th. And finally, we would like to budget an additional $287,500 in half cent sales tax funds for public safety to move forward with the purchase of a new fire truck. We had originally budgeted half, half the funding this year with the remaining funds to be budgeted next year, but with rising prices, it is preferable to place the order now. In order for our system to generate a purchase order, we need a budget for the entire amount, even though the final payment will not be made until fiscal year 23. Be glad to answer any questions you may have. Make a motion to approve. Yeah, second. All right. Thank you both. I appreciate all the work in yeah. squaring that away. So, thanks. It's a lot of work too. Uh, no can. Okay. Any other comments or questions? If not, would you call for the vote, please? Jason Blair. Yes. Melissa Hunt. Yes. Louis Williams. Yes. Adam Webb. Yes. Mark Ham. Yes. Glenn Lewis. Yes. Item carries. 
Item number eight is consider approval of ordinance number 991-21, amending part seven, chapter two, section 7-202, 7 7-203, and 7-205 of the Moore Municipal Code by increasing the city manager's approval limit, increasing the threshold for purchases requiring city council approval, increasing the threshold for professional services employment contracts requiring city council approval and increasing the limit for purchases that do not require bidding and providing for a repealer and providing for severability. Uh, Mayor and Council, during this past legislative session, the state legislature passed House Bill 2862, effective November 1st, which increases the competitive bidding requirement for public construction contracts from 50,000 to 100,000 and requires construction management trade contract or subcontracts to be competitively bid over $50,000. With this change, we would like your approval to update the city's ordinances in regards to purchasing. We are proposing the following. We would like to increase the competitive bid requirements from 50,000 to 100,000. We would like to increase the amount that the city manager may approve from 15,000 or less to 22,500 or less. We would like to increase the amount required to be approved by council from more than 15,000 to more than 22,500. And we would like to increase the threshold on contracts for professional services or employment contracts for non-classified personnel requiring council approval from 7,500 to 12,500. Be glad to answer any questions you might have. <coughs> At one time we had on there, uh, it was after the big tornado, May 3rd, that we had raised the city manager's spending limit to 60,000. Was that like a temporary deal? Must have been. Wasn't here then, but my guess is that probably would have been done under the uh, some emergency okay. class. Yeah, I think it was. I, I, I remember doing, an, we had an emergency meeting and yeah. gave him the authority without having to have counsel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Temporary. Motion to approve. All okay. right. Thank you. Thank you both. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion on this item? If not, would you call for the vote? These are Melissa. good changes. Melissa Hunt. Yes. Louis Williams. Yes. Adam Webb. Yes. Mark Cam. Yes. Jason Blair. Yes. Glenn Lewis. Yes. Item carries. Item number nine is consider approval of a transfer of $24,839.98 currently held by the city. Uh, for the uh, Shop with a Cop program to the newly established 5013C uh, Shop, uh, excuse me, More Shop with a Cop Foundation. Uh, Mayor and Council, in 2013, the city established a donation account for the Police Department's Shop with a Cop program to be used for receipts and donations and related expenses. This program has grown over the years and the Police Department has now established a 501C3 called More Shop with a Cop Foundation. We would like for your approval to transfer the current balance of $24,839.98 to the foundation for their continued use of these funds for this community program. Make a motion to approve. Second. All right, thank you both. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Would you call for the vote, please? Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes, item carries. At this time, we'll recess the City Council meeting and convene the More Public Works Authority meeting. Item 10 is the consent docket. Item A is receive and approve the minutes of the regular More Public Works Authority meeting held October 4, 2021. Item B is approve and ratify claims and expenditures for FY 2021-2022 in the amount of $1,654,237.92. Motion to approve. Thank you. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Would you call for the vote, please? Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Ham? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. Item number 11 is consider authorizing the purchase of a Volvo EW180E GPE wheel es uh, excavator and attachments from GW Van Keppel Company in the amount of $341,153 using state contract number SW455. 
Mayor and Council, this is um, one piece of equipment that is really needed in public works. It's a versatile equipment, um, a wheel excavator that will have various attachments that will be able to help us to do excavation, ditching, and clean out ditches. It will have attachments for mowing steep slopes that we can get to. It's also going to help us to do some street repair work if we need to break some concrete and some brick maintenance and some demolitions. I've seen this equipment even used by either PD or a fire department when they need to bring down some, down, um, some buildings when there is fire. So um, we recommend that you approve this for us. This will help us tremendously. We're going to have to pay shipping on this one, too? <laughs> it's not going to be 25000 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Motion to approve. Thank you. Second. Thank you. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? If not, would you call for the vote, please? Mark Ham? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Lynn Lewis? Yes. Item carries. At this time, we will recess the more public workers authority meeting and convene the more risk management meeting. Item 12 is a consent docket. Item A is receive and approve the minutes of the regular more risk management meeting held October 4, 2021. Item B is approved payment of a workers' compensation settlement in the amount of $6,160 for CBR-20500000 8 to Eugene Marshall. And item C is approve and ratify expenses, excuse me, claims and expenditures for FY 2021-2022 in the amount of $295,435.34. Motion to approve. Thank you. A second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Would you call the vote, please? Jason Blair. Yes. Melissa Hunt. Yes. Louis Williams. Yes. Adam Webb. Yes. Mark Ham. Yes. Glenn Lewis. Yes. Item carries. Okay. The, uh, at this time, we'll recess the more risk management meeting and convene the more economic development authority meeting. Item number, oh, that's on mine. Hey, hey, item 13 would be roll call. Danielle McKenzie. Jason Blair. Here. Melissa Hunt. Here. Glenn Lewis. Here. Louis Williams. Here. Adam Webb. Here. Mark Ham. Here. Item 14 is the consent docket. Receive and approve the minutes of the regular Moore Economic Development Authority meeting held September 20th, 2021. Motion to approve. Second. Had a motion and a second. Would you call the vote? Jason Blair. Yes. Melissa Hunt. Yes. Glenn Lewis. Yes. Louis Williams. Yes. Adam Webb. Yes. Mark Ham. Yes. Item carries. Now we'll recess the Moore Economic Development Authority meeting and reconvene the City Council meeting. All right, thank you. Uh, let the record reflect that all the members that were present before are still present. Item number 15 is new business. Item A is citizens forum for items not on the agenda. There's no one signed up to speak. Would anyone like to? Okay, any items from the uh, city council or trustees? I would like to say some. I would like to say thank you to the manager on the economic development projects because we couldn't do any of it without his approval first. Thank so you. I, I thank left you out while ago and all that, and I apologize. But thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Brooks. Brooks. Everybody. Yeah. Now, any items I, from the city council or trustees? Somebody wants to get hold of me. <laughs> At a meeting. No doubt. Dinner. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Any items from the city manager? A couple of things, Mayor and Council. Just an update on the big trash pickups. Uh, the schedule is still just a week out, so we're doing a good job keeping up with with that uh, okay. <clears throat> project. And then tomorrow will be the first of our three town hall meetings regarding the propositions on November the 9th, the new animal shelter and the residential street projects. It'll be tomorrow's meeting will be at seven o'clock at the station. And then the next meeting will be on October 28th at Winding Creek Elementary. And then the last one will be on November the 4th at Oak Ridge Elementary. And all the meetings start at 7 o'clock. Good. Okay. Anything else? 
Okay, item 16 is adjournment. So moved. Oh. Second. All right, thank you. We have a motion and a second. Would you call for the vote, please? Louis Williams? Yes. Adam Webb? Yes. Mark Cam? Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Melissa Hunt? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes, we're adjourned. Thank you for coming.